What is going on, lunatics? I hope you're having a good morning. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit that like button. On the way in, we got it. We got news. We got information. We got a little bit of everything you need to navigate this crypto space, especially the Terra Luna Classic ecosystem. Let's kick it off with the most important part. And the most important part is the news that will affect how this project is transacted that's what we're looking for we're looking for something to give us that 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 glean of the next big move or something like that but remember those things tend to happen when you least expect them so i'm going to give you the news i'm going to give you the information about what's going on in the day will it cause a spike i don't know uh, we're at the end of the month. We're getting close to the next big burn from Binance. There should be a spike in activity. There generally is during this period of time. That is a guess. It doesn't always happen that way. But when you're looking for a moment that market makers, and this is important, when market makers are trying to trap you into a trade, then they start to do it before whatever the catalyst is. And that's by the rumor, sell the news. So... Let's see what happens over the next couple of days. Now, as far as news goes, we're still waiting for an announcement from Chris Amani or from Terraform Labs regarding what is going on in the situation with eToro. We don't have any kind of update at this point. Now, I've uh, looked all over and scoured. The best I can tell you is that the notice of letting you know that you can file for the crypto loss. That was the last time we got any information out of Chris Amani or from Terraform. And you can verify that and check it out at, at Terra underscore money or at Fleece Cannon. And that name right there is at Fleece, F-L-E-E-C-E -E -E underscore Cannon. He doesn't make a lot of posts. He does tend to share other Luna Classic information but um, that's what we have so far there's no real information at this point regarding what is going on and we don't have any clarification for it and eToro but to to their own design has said nothing so far so um, no information but let's move on still some discussion here only one more content again i'm going to encourage you to go read this at commonwealth.im it is uh setting the on-chain tax rate to 1.5 now is it up for a vote yet and the answer to that is no it has not been put to vote yet the only thing that we have is the threshold uh, has already been met for 3.1.3 upgrade uh, on the chain, which is going to change the Oracle pool and start to replenish that. That includes Lunk Dash, of course, same thing. Now, price action. Let's talk price action. We're up $51 billion on the day, and uh, that's for the, the, the general and more broad market. And you can see what's going on for the last bunch of hours. But look, we had this move. I, again, we had a, a breakdown one more time into this range. Of course, we had that broader sell-off on Ethereum, on Bitcoin, on everything yesterday. And we haven't really experienced the, 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 the more significant type of recovery. Why? Because we're not a priority. And you should know that. When it's time to run, remember, crypto is going to explode. And we're going to see a cascade of money coming down into the range uh, where we are right now. You're going to see it. We just haven't seen it yet because really it is my opinion that Ethereum hasn't taken off. And you might be asking yourself, well, what does that mean? Well, maxis, Bitcoin maxis, people who only want one crypto, and that is Bitcoin, they're not really going to cascade their money down. They're making their money off of Bitcoin. Some of them will, but largely, no. What you're going to see is when Ethereum pumps. Ethereum is your real DeFi protocol, and it's the largest of the DeFi protocols. Solana is still just a tad bit new in this regard, but it will also include Solana. But what, what we need to see out of uh, Ethereum at this point is we need to see a magnificent run for Ethereum up to the 5,000 range. We haven't hit an all-time high. When we hit an all-time high with Ethereum, which I do suspect is probably coming in the next few weeks, then that's going to kick off that August pump that I told you was going to happen, and that will include Luna Classic. So get yourself ready. This is situational. Uh, I, I would be looking at this point to zoom out on this chart and i mean guys pay attention we can only go so low now could we go lower yes 
However, the significance of this is I'm telling you right now, this move is on the horizon, at least, at least. When we get into, if we get exactly what I'm telling you I think we're going to get, then this move becomes even more important. And a breakout above that into these highs would become something that would be considered uh, as entirely possible because we are building, people will find it, things are starting to coalesce slowly, I'm sure slowly, uh, more slowly than you would like it to, but they are coalescing. And once this happens, then you're going to see an enormous sort of spike. Now, it is possible that you see something start around the time we get the burns, which can be about six days from now. So five days, six days, whatever for the next Binance burn. But, you know, you could see a significant sort of move at that point. And if that happens, fantastic. You know, a great. That's going to be a great thing for us to see. Um and it, it might lead to a lot of people uh, getting real happy and, and starting to um, FOMO their way back in. So that's what I do think is going to happen. And I think it's going to happen very good. And the, por the important part is, uh, let me remove this for a second. The important part is, where are you right now? Well, you're right at the bottom of this range right here. Now, what you want to see, and by the way, I don't have this exactly right. Let me move this up just a tiny bit here. So that it, I mean, you can see right here, it's, it's almost, it's playing out almost perfectly, right? So there has to be a move into this range at some point coming up pretty soon. And I do think that it will, and it's going to be about a 3x. So when that happens, um, then shout out to everybody who's stuck around. Now, you, you got to make a decision on who you're going to be at that point, but it will happen here. And I do think, this is just my opinion, but I do think that it will happen very soon. Now, I, when I look at the way this thing is kind of playing its way out, you can see that kind of right there, and you see that kind of right there, and then you see a relief bounce, a bigger relief bounce. Now, we're skipping, I think, a lot of this. This is a lot of chop through a bear market and a reaccumulation phase. So if you would, just kind of pause it here that we had a big move here, and then we had a nice little bounce and now we have some consolidation for the next bounce, right? Well, the same things happen over here. We had a nice bounce and we had a correction over here. Again, shorten this right here. And then we've got, and I know I'm using voodoo here, but you got this move right here, which kind of correlates to this move off of this and off of this. And then let's just skip that right there and say this spike right here, that's a retest, right? Well, we're getting a retest right now. So what do I think is getting ready to happen? I think this is getting ready to happen. I think we're going to see some kind of big move right there. And guys, I, you know, I'm, I'm, just eyeballing things, trying to figure out where everything fits. But I know there's a lot of stuff going on in the background, a lot of crazy stuff that you guys don't know about. Juris Protocol, which I said it right, Raykoff. I said it right. Juris Protocol. Uh, it's not Anchor anymore. It's Juris Protocol. But, uh, you know, all of these things, you know, they're going to start manifest themselves. And we're going to have a big, 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 big run so just get ready for it i know i'm using a lot of hyperbole at this point but stick with me because it's going to happen also when you look at the price action right now uh, you know again a big decline over here 24 hour volume is up but let me come back over here and let me point out to you we're up 61 billion on the day bitcoin's up three percent ethereum's up two and a half percent solana's up five percent we're getting a main altcoin rally and a bitcoin rally right now Again, not enough to cascade its way down too much, but 5i are up 7%, Ave up 8%. So you're getting a spike here, CTX up 45%. We're finally seeing uh, a major alt sort of breaking out. We're seeing Arrow breaking out 12% right now. You know, there are, there's a few of them out here where the alts are just, It's maybe it's a little bit time. Arrow means it's an RWA, so we might be in the RWA cycle. I don't know yet, we will see. But uh, that, that could lead into uh, just an enormous sort of run here. So let's see what happens over the next little while. Again, uh, the transactions are down. They are going to pick back up. Uh, 7.4 million over here on USTC, 100 million market cap. So, um, you know, we're closer and closer, closer and closer to a moment where something fantastic is going to happen. Now, as far as the, um, the, the altcoin stuff like that, Rakoff up uh, 4% on the day, but THC took a big bath down 66%. Roddy, we love Roddy, but it's down 35% on the day over here. Uh, you can see those right there. That's the Lunk pairing, by the way. So um, uh, Savior also down 27% on the day. Where can you go to trade these tokens? Well, you go to TerraPort.Finance. That's where you go to make all of these trades. You come over here, click on this trade. You've got your wallet attached. All you have to do is make the trade that you want to do. Easy peasy, 
lemon, chicken, something squeeze, whatever, whatever they say. Uh, but Terraport.finance, link is down below. Go use this thing and go start doing it. And remember, when you're there, come over here and check out uh, the rocket pool. Make sure, did we finish? It's expired. Okay, so we're set up now. So if you've been doing this for the last bunch of days, you're about to get a drop. They're calculating the el eligibility and rewards right now. So um, that it's, I'm, I'm, guys, I, I can't stress enough here. Um, I'm not paid to endorse Rocket. I, I have nothing to do with it other than the fact that I love tower defense games. And I think that uh, tower defense game on uh, the, the Luna Classic blockchain right up my alley so uh, i hope you guys uh, like that idea and while we're talking about great ideas what about terracasino.io guys if you are interested and you are a risk-based player and you like to uh, play poker you like to uh, gamble you like to go to the casinos this is your place to do it with crypto and you can use Luna Classic. You can use Luna. And by the way, all of us that had Luna Classic, uh, when it fell, we got Luna as a uh, kind of a makeup present. So you probably have some Luna in your wallet if you go over to the mainnet in your station wallet if you use the station wallet. So, uh, but Bitcoin, Ethereum, free money, by the way. Um, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, BUSD, Polygonmatic, USDC, USDT, and Dogecoin. Those are the ones that you can use. You can do sports-based wagering, PVP poker, uh, slot machines. You can do uh, game shows, uh, ring games, uh, crypto trading, if you are interested and you are a crypto trader. We're all crypto traders, right? Uh, that's why we're holding crypto. So uh, come over here and use these and not only to be outdone, but shout out to Terra Casino, one of the largest burners in all of this ecosystem as referenced over here on Lung Metrics. You can see Terra Casino number seven overall, 350 million burn, but you can see right here, they just burned and incinerated another 1 million Luna Classic. This is one of the biggest burners in this entire ecosystem. Remember Binance, they've been the king so far and DF Lunk Protocol, same thing, Lunatics, 1.9 billion, but right there, Terra Casino and Terraport.finance, right here at number 12. So combined, you're talking about over 400 million, the same as cremation coin is just shy of the top five uh, with this entire protocol. So guys, I can't stress enough that you know there is a, a, an incredible opportunity here um, for, for continued burns if you just engage with the ecosystem as the ecosystem is. Now, let's talk about something today. And we're gonna have a whole lot on it, but we are gonna talk about it just a little bit. And that is, what is going on guys? You know when I give it to you, it's important. Cryptonomy.finance just launched their own channel. This is a key financial sector for information every single day about what's going on in cryptocurrency and the broader markets. It's on Telegram and it's Cryptonomy underscore community. Go check it out today. You know staking is where it's at. There's panic in the market right now. Fear and greed index is down in the 20s right now. And you should know by this point, it is a time to buy. So my first deposit right now, you guys know I'm bullish on it, API3. I really think API3 does a 100 to 300x in this next bull run. I just staked 4,000 API3. My reward on that, 2,892 API3. I think it's trading around $1.90 right now. So this is a big move for me, I think that this could produce some serious yield. Not to be outdone, you guys love Jasmine. I love Jasmine as well. I think it's gonna be the biggest thing uh, in, in blockchain for gaming at some point, maybe even integrated into Sony. 340,000 Jasmine right now. I just staked it for nine months. And my reward on this, 244,516 Jasmine. I'm super excited about this one. I think it's gonna be a big banger. But let's face it, the real money is made over here on the launch pool, water coin, water. We talked about it already. It's already up 6X. They took a big profit on this already. Cookie, you remember Cookie trending on Dex Tools, up 5X right now. Potoshi up 3X. Huge yields being rewarded. Cryptopia TOS was also 3X in the last round. Cryptonomy.finance knows what they're doing when it comes to these big launches. Make sure that you're contacting Cryptonomy.finance and if you do, you can use their 24-7 support line as well. Uh, you can convert your collateral into whatever it is that you need because they hold almost every crypto asset that you can possibly think of for staking and rewards. So sign up to Cryptonomy.finance today. Oh, and one more thing. In about a month, Cryptonomy is going to announce its own launch pad. It'll start launching its own. And guess what? You, as a customer and a VIP, VIP user, you're going to get first crack at all of the best projects. It's not financial advice. 
I'm always right. But before we do that, I, I wanted to point out somebody else is out here right now. I am seeing 0.001 in this bull run on weekly climbs to 0 0.47, 0 0.5 RSI is real low. That means we will uptick. And what that means is when you look at some of the longer time frames over here, then you're seeing like, you know, guys, I, I can't, again, I can't stress this enough. When you start to look at the weekly, you start to look at the monthly, when you start to look at these longer time frames, you see a very low RSI, a spike in the RSI up to uh, normal ranges is simply going to mean boom, boom, we're going to have, it's going to happen again. The RSI is low enough for an absolute takeoff. This banger of a takeoff right here was an RSI of 50 and it took off and we had an enormous spike up here. Well, we're at 42 right now. Again, I think there's an enormous spike getting ready to come. And it makes sense based on the strength index, everything uh, that we have. So uh, shout out to this guy. Uh, and what does he say that he thinks is about to happen? Uh, well, he thinks that we're about to go on about a 12, 13 X run. That's really what he's saying. During the bull run, he thinks about a 13 X run. And by the way, his total, I am seeing 0 0.001 in this bull run. And what did I give you as my estimate of what we're going to get by the end of the year? 0 0.001. We're all thinking the same thing. Now, could it be more? That is the question. And the answer to that is yes, it could be a whole lot more. So um, hold on to your hats because I, I think something pretty fantastic is going to happen pretty soon. So but let's talk about Terra Tritium. I've got an update for Terra Tritium. Now, you guys know I've played this for you a couple of times um, and they have, I'm not playing it today because uh, I, I'm creating a new account. And the reason that I'm doing that is because I found a bug in the game and we're working through the bugs in the game and I'm not paying. So, you know, you're not losing anything. It's no big deal here. But uh, I got an update here from them. It says, good morning, players. We've been absent for a minute because of activities to update the newest version of the game. We're making corrections and improving the quality of the game for everyone. I've been giving them feedback and some other people have been giving them feedback about, you know, what is going on inside the game. Later this week, we should release version 0.2.9, which means, I mean, that's not even version one. So you know, you're so early. Uh, so if you haven't already, certainly go check out Terra Tritium. Now, one of the things that I will say, let me go ahead and, and pop in here for the play. I think I'm already logged in on this. Yeah, I'm already logged in on this on my old account. Now, I want to show you um, what happened so, so that you know that this is what you're going to have to do. Okay, when, when I came on here and I showed this to you and I put you uh, right here, um, then what I did is I did not have uh, enough, and this is what you have to have, you have to have enough metal, because if you want to build anything over here, you're going to click on this, and you got to have at least 100 metal. Well, I didn't have, the, I didn't create a metal mining facility, uh, which should have been done right away. I should have, I should have made sure that I was building uh, a metal mine and I didn't do that. And that of course left me kind of stranded here because somebody came in, stole my stuff. Uh, and that was the, that, that was a wrap on that. So, uh, and then, uh, somebody tried to help me. Strathcole said, Hey man, don't worry about it. Uh, give me your coordinates. I gave him the coordinates and he's like, I'm going to send it over to you. And I, I went through everything and, um, yeah, I, the, nothing. So uh, the merchant, there's nothing, you know, uh, so they're working on some fixes right now to kind of, uh, in case you're a starter like me, you don't get trapped in, which is why I'm going to create a new login here. And that's what part of this update probably going to be. So um, uh, I'm, again, here's the other part, just so you guys know, I play these types of games on my phone all the time. So uh, I'm super excited about this. So when I say that this ecosystem is going to erupt and there's going to be some really cool stuff happening, then I mean it. Uh, but give it a couple days, Terra Tritium is going to have a big update here and then we should see what happened. Now, I'm not going to create a new account until the update, which is what I'm telling you right now, because it, it could be that when this update happens, that you have a minimum this is a great thing to set up is have a minimum of a hundred metal at any given time so that just in case you get again trapped like i just got trapped that you could um to continue to build because you just need 100 of the metal in order to do that so uh and, and then that metal mining will of course allow you to get more stuff you know what i mean so uh that's probably one of the best sort of uh, opportunities that you have in there to, to, to make a, a quick fix, if you will. So, um, but that's it, guys. 
check out Terra Tritium. Uh, this is, uh, you know, as this game starts to build, I play Vikings, War of Clans, uh, Royal uh, Royal Clan, Clash of Clans, you know, all of these different, th it's the same type of game over here. There's a PvP element to it, so I would certainly be checking this out if you like it, and, and if you like those type of games. So, that's it. That's my time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, I think we're ready for some kind of big move here. Just kind of waiting for it patiently, if you will. And uh, we'll see what happens. But this is not financial advice. I'm always right. Have a good day, and we'll talk to you again soon.